What is going on guys, it's Caleb, and today we are continuing our HTML course. Um, right now we are on the Project Social Networking Profile, so let's go ahead and get started by clicking on the Project Start. If you're not already headed over to the Code Academy, make sure to go ahead and head over to the Code Academy. As you can see, this looks like a lot of um, unordered and ordered list with some paragraph and image tags so it may be a lot to set your eyes on at first but don't worry if you just go and just individually read the code line by line you'll see that it's nothing and it's not even complex at all it's just a lot of indentation so don't let your eyes deceive you um, here's what you'll be building you'll start to see a, a pattern with these HTML projects first we'll show you what you'll be making then we'll walk you through actually making it in this course, you'll be creating your own social networking profile. Check out our profile in King Kong and in index.html and the results tab to the right. Hit submit when you're ready to start building your own profile. So if we go ahead and click save and submit, you can as as we can see we have this um King Kong uh picture right here. We have a nice little paragraph that says, I'm a male, 89 years old, and I'm a giant. Empire State Building Climbing Ape. <laughs> He's got interests in bananas, climbing stuff in HTML, um, jobs, where I went to school, and favorite quotes. So this is all very interesting, and this is pretty much the basic, um, this is pretty much what a, um, in other words, a profile would look like. If you were to click on your Facebook profile, this is what it would look like without the CSS and all the fancy good stuff. So let's go ahead and go on to the next exercise. You have the power. Have you ever seen your page on a social networking site not or site load really slow? Then come through with only the HTML skeleton. If not, it looks like this. So to show you what you um, show you guys what I was just talking about, if we click the little link. This is all of our. This is obviously Facebook.com, and um, as you can see, these are just little anchor tags, little hypertext that we learned earlier. These are headings. Um, as you can see, there's images and ordered and unordered lists down here, and as you can see, we have more um, lists down here. The only difference is that these have a um, display inline, which we'll learn about that in CSS later on, and so. Let's just go back to um, Code Academy right quick and continue where we left off. So, under its fancy skin, a social networking profile is just a list of text, images, and links. And you know all about those. We've set up your profile page with the basics, but the details are up to you. First off, let's make this page about you. So, the instructions are 1. Put your name between the title tags. So, let's go ahead and put. Oh, I already have it there. Let me reset it. Go ahead and put your name through the title tag. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name, which is Caleb. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter through these body tags. Put a picture of yourself or anything you like between the body tags. If you can't think of a good picture, just use this ninja. So once again, I'm just going to right click on this uh, Eric Winston guy. I'm going to copy his URL. And um, I'm just going to tab and create a new image. Give it a source. Equal it out quotation marks and then just in the tag remember the image tag is a self-ending tag so if we save and submit we have this lovely little pic picture of Eric Win Winston the guy who created this exercise over from Code Academy and um, let's go ahead and click start we got the green light so a bit about you great now we know your name and what you look like but that's about it your profile page should include a little bit about you. After all, that's the point of a profile in the first place. So the instructions are to create a paragraph below your picture that mentions your age, gender, and hometown. Don't get too carried away. We'll get into your interests, favorite things, and where you've lived, work, and go to school in the next section. So, if we can just throw in a simple paragraph, honestly, we can put whatever we want between this paragraph. But if you're abiding by the uh, instructions, go ahead and fill out your basic name, age, and hometown, but I'm just going to say, um, hello, and welcome to my profile, and that will suit me, so if we go ahead and save and submit, we get this nice little paragraph underneath our image that we just created, so let's go ahead and go to the start, the next section, so 
Profile sections. Nice. It's starting to look like a profile page already. Most profile pages are divided up into sections. Your interests, favorite quotes, where you work, where you went to school, where you live, and so on. We can do this with an unordered list. Below the paragraph about yourself, create an unordered list. Each list item should be in a category, for example, interests, jobs, uh, favorite quotes, where I lived, and so on. So, um, pick any topics you like. You should include at least four. So, um, if we go here, make sure that we're still within our body tag. So, hit enter right here. And um, remember that an unordered list is the OL, not the UL. Or, actually, I said that backwards. That unordered list is the UL. Yeah. That's what you get for trying to act super smart for YouTube. Alright, so let's create our first list item. And here we can say whatever we want. But I'm just going to... Uh, um, Go by and say interest, and then make another one, and I'm gonna say something like jobs. Make another one, and I'm gonna say um, let's see, quotes, and then finally make sure that we have four list items. I'm going to say um, locations, and if we go ahead and submit the code we'll get this um, unordered list of interest jobs quotes and locations right down here and we get the green light so let's start the next section so list within list you're a natural now that you've got your profile section set up it's time to add your favorite things between your unordered list items create additional list these lists should have list items that detail places you visited, your favorite sports team, or anything at all you like. Instructions. Go nuts with your list within list. The only requirements is that you have at least one ordered list and one unordered list. Check the hint if you need help. So, I don't think it um, really matters if um, we uh, let's see how many we need but I want to say we already have our unordered list so if we go ahead and drop down underneath the interest and create an ordered list um, and make sure to indent these uh, oop, that was not a very good indent uh, indent that and then indent again make a new list item and um, let's just say something it never specified how many to use nor did it specify how many ordered and unordered lists to make so it just said to make sure you have one of each and so we already have an unordered list like I said so um, some interests that we have we can say something like uh, computers and let's see if we save and submit if we get the green light so no we have to make an, another unordered list so let's go back so that was all fine that was just some trial and error right there so let's go to our jobs within our unordered list um, tab in and make a new unordered list within this list and make a new list item and some jobs we can say something like um, McD for McDonald's now if we go ahead and save and submit you'll see that we have our unordered list then we have an ordered list of computers and then back to our unordered list we have another unordered list of um, McD and take note that these can be anything that you want I'm just putting them as computers in McDonald's. So, we got the green light. Let's go ahead and start the next section. So, fancy up your font. Perfect. Your profile is really coming along. It still looks a bit bland, though. Thankfully, you know how to fancify your fonts with the font-family, font-size, and color properties, which is exactly what you're about to do. So, spice up your profile with different font sizes and colors. You can do any combinations you like, so long as you use font-family, font-size, and color at least once. So, um, if we were to go ahead and um, do this, I'm going to go up here to our paragraph, and I'm going to change it from a paragraph. Um, or not, I'm not going to change the paragraph, but I'm going to add the inline style, and I'm going to change the font size and uh, make it quite bigger so font dash size and uh, let's just say something like 20 pixels now if we come to our first um, unordered list now if we were to add a style here it's going to change it all for our unordered list um, so really what I'm going to do I'm going to go into the um, list within this list and it's going to be computers and I'm going to um, 
uh, add an inline style, and I'm gonna do the font dash family and um, uh, Futura. F U was it F U T U R A? I think I want to say that's how it was. This uh, viewer preview. Yeah, okay, so it was correct. Futura F U T U R A. That's a correct font family. And then I'm gonna go into the um, list item itself, and I'm gonna change the style of this. And I'm gonna change the color. Um, let's just say uh, blue. I like the color blue. So if we save and submit. We have hello and welcome to my profile. The interests, and then computers is all in blue. So we got it correct. Let's start the next lesson. So bold, italic, bold. Great work. Just one more thing before you can call your profile complete. You've got to add just the right number, emphasize in strong words. How many of these to use is up to you, but you should at least use emphasize in strong at least once each. Once you do, hit the submit and finish the exercise and bask in the glory of your newly created profile. So, to do this, let's... uh. Let's just go ahead and go down to quotes. We haven't done nothing in quotes yet. So let's go ahead and indent and create a new paragraph. So um, uh, within our listed item quotes, um, uh, what, what can we do? We can say something like, uh, really, what, we can emphasize this because it's going to be a quote. So add a new emphasizing um, tag. And to do this, I'm just going to properly indent this. Hit enter. Uh, let me go down. Delete these. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to say something like, um, uh, three can keep a secret. So, uh, three, actually, let's put quotation marks. Three can keep a secret only if two are dead. And now what I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and, um, Hit enter again, and I'm gonna use the um, bold or not bold, but I'm gonna say strong. And I'm gonna make the text bold, and now I'm gonna say B dash Frank, because that was Benjamin Franklin who said that. B dash Frank, and let's let's give him a, a period. Now, if we save the code, let's see what we get. Uh, actually, let's go back to the editor. Even though we got the correct, and congratulations. Uh, I'm gonna make the little hyphen. Seems a little bit more, um, and delete the period, yeah, that, that seems kind of good. If I, let's see here, go back, delete the period, okay. Now, if we were to scroll down, oh, we can't see it. Oh, man. Oh, well, guys, you understand the, um, you understood what I made, what I'm doing. Anyways, so, we jumped the gun a little bit, uh, I wanted to go back and show you guys this, but unfortunately I can't. That's really kind of stupid. But, as you can see guys, we completed our second project in our HTML Basics 2. We created our first profile page. So guys, if you like the video, make sure to leave it a like if this really helped you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Also guys, subscribe for more in future videos, and I will see you through HTML Basics 3, and I believe we'll start learning a little bit uh, about CSS within the Basics 3. If not, it'll be the chapter right after, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff coming up soon. So, once again guys, have a nice night. It's been Caleb, and peace.